Hello, this is Sarah Hussain and I'm creating this video to help you with the Wise Bank sign up. This would be a business account. Before I start, I'd like to mention that there are a few things that you would need prior to the process. Just keep these things ready when you are signing up. First thing first, uh, you would need a business name, address, phone and email address. Business name and address would be mentioned on your formation documents. Next thing you would need is a US phone number. It could be either Yki, Skype or any paid services that you would want to purchase. The other thing that you would need is an owner information. Their name, address, residential address, wherever they are residing. Phone and email. You would also need a owner's passport. Please make sure that the passport is scanned at 600 uh, DPI. Please do not take a picture or just, you know, make sure that you take a proper scan of a passport. Uh, you would also need a uh, business formation documents. Your accountant must have sent you these documents. It includes EIN letter and article of organization. Lastly, you would need a debit card to pay off a $31 mandatory fee for the Wise Bank account opening. I'm also mentioning the link here. You would just click on this link and we'll follow the rest of the process in the next one. The uh, link that I mentioned in my last slide, this is the page that you will reach. This is the business account wise homepage. I just click on register. Over here, I'll be mentioning the email address that I would like to use for the registration. It could be your personal email. I would recommend you to use a business domain email if you have available. Uh, let me just type the email over here. Okay, I'll just press next. See, they are asking for the country of registration. We are residing in US, uh, Pakistan, but the company that we are registering for is in United States. So I'll just, you know, pick United States over here. The phone number I'll be using is, uh, is the one that has been purchased. Let me just type it. To okay. They will send a, a verification code to this phone number. When you click on next, uh, this is the screen that you will receive. They are asking you to fill in the six digit code that you have received on your phone number. So I have received it. I'll just mention the code here and click submit. Now they're asking you to set up a password. Um, you know, I'll just set up a password it should be nine character. Let's continue. I just, just type it again. Okay, this works. I'll just not save it here for now. Now they are asking me to fill in my business details. Okay, so everything that I would fill would be as per my business formation documents. First field they are asking is the company name. I'll type the company name. The company type. And there's a drop down. See, if you have an LLC or single member LLC, you'll just pick this one. If you have a corporation, you'll pick this one. If you're an individual working on your own name, you'll go for sole proprietor. If you have a non profit, these other things are mostly not applicable in your case. So just go with LLC. And your EIA number, I'll just get the EIA number here uh, from the EIA document and Fill it up just a second, please. Let me get the EIA. Yeah. 
EIN is actually mentioned on your EIN letter. It's a nine digit number and that is also your tax ID number. Um, I found it. It's a uh, three fields. Next, they are asking me uh, for the business address. I'll fill up the business address, which is Okay, next. Now they're asking us to, uh, you know, verify the account faster. So they are asking us to, you know, what category we will be doing business in. So it's an e-commerce business. So I'll pick this option. Subcategory would be, you know, whatever the products you would be selling on Amazon or any e-commerce store, you will pick that option over here. Most of them, uh, for this client, they are send, uh, selling home and garden supplies. So I'll just pick this one. We have a website, Amazon and eBay profile. Um, they do not have it currently, but if, if they do, I'll just, you know, say yes. Otherwise, no. Size of business. All right. Uh, they are asking me to fill up the uh, you know details over here and next question is size of the, of the business i'll just fill up the description of a business in a brief uh, briefly over all right uh, the client has just informed me that they do have a so uh, internet presence so i'll just you know um, got the link from him and i'll paste the link over here that's a facebook page and based on the facebook page their product category should be uh, let me see if I have to change it, otherwise I'll keep it same. No, I think this would work. Let's move on. Um, next they are asking is size of your business. It's majorly, you know, e-commerce business. You usually do not have large stock. So I'll just stick to 2 to 10 and click continue. See, they are, you know, confirming our trading address, which is this. If this address is incorrect or requires any correction, just you can correct it over here by clicking at it. If all looks good, just move on. I'll just press next. Continue. They're asking us about the, uh, you know, information about the owner this time. They want to know that where the owner is working, their country of residence, their full legal about the owner of the business. I've pre-filled the information to save the time. Um, the country of residence, it should be where the person has a passport from. Uh, in this case, it's a, the person is Pakistani, so I'll just pick the Pakistan over here from the drop down. The first legal name as per the, their passport, their uh, last name as per the passport, and their date of birth as per the passport. The phone number is pre-filled from uh, earlier field. I'll just click next. Now they need a home address of an owner. So let's see if a person is residing in uh, Pakistan, they must have an address in Pakistan as well. So I'll fill the information of the owner. and confirm and continue thanks um, um, guys offers you uh, two plans which is you know we go with this uh, all banking features because we would need to pay vendors get receipts and all those things 
So it's a basic plan. Obviously, we don't need it. We will choose this plan and uh, you know pay the thirty-one dollar mandatory fee. I'll click this. The person is doing business in USA, so I'll go with the US currency first. and you also have an option of getting a multi currency account that's up to you but uh let's just keep it one next is what is the purpose of for using why is obviously there's a drop down uh i'll go with the fourth option we will be using it for both suppliers and contractor go next they need us to verify the information and we have two option if we have a social security number or ita number we'll fill we'll pick this option if we do not have ita number or social social security number we'll go with this one I'm not a US citizen and do not have social security or ITI number. Let it proceed. All right. So, um when you mention that you you are non-resident say they do they have extra they want to identify you as a person. So, they'll probably send you a link on your email address and that would enable your camera and the camera would take uh, one or two selfies of yours just to verify your id with your document passport document so i'll just click on a link to be sent by email and they have sent an email the process needs to be complete at applicant's smartphone uh what happens obviously i cannot record that part but i'll just brief you about the process um you have an option of sending yourself a qr code or a link via email um if you click on the qr code this is the screen that you will see just scan that qr code from your smartphone and follow the instruction if you cannot do it let's go back and click on the you know sending a link via email when you send yourself a link uh they will probably send you the email that looks like this with following following instructions you'll click on this uh verify your id tab and they require you to take a clear photo id of your id document which is your passport and they would also ask you to take a, a selfie of yourself and upload it when you do it you'll just complete the process also um they might ask you about the issuing authority of a document and the id document you will be uploading so issuing authority let's say if you are uploading a pakistani passport so your issuing authority is a uh, pakistan and your id type would be your passport when you complete this process they will uh, lead you to the next page which is a payment part over here you will have your debit card ready this fill up your debit card information and pay the 31 dollar fee as soon as you complete the payment process you will click submit and your account will